It took the same effort for me to be an inspiration and those same people were watching me in my particular transformation from dishonorable to honorable. And when I asked, when I told Baba Kalindi I would help him with the Detroit Psychedelic Conference, he didn't say, well, I'm going to pass. I'm going to die before this happens. But he did anyway. And then <sighs> I started realizing how much of how much of an honorable giant he was and how he fought for this particular communication to be brought to urban communities who looked like him and came from where he came from, which was poverty consciousness, uh, having to buy secondhand clothes for himself and children to sacrifice. And he wanted to change that by being a man of honor. Uh, a lot of people don't know that Kalindi's grandfather was Bumpy Johnson, godfather of Harlem. And he could have easily chosen that particular lineage, but he chose an honorable path. And his example is still resonating through the amount of people in the world who follow his example and say, I want to transition. And the way he led it was through ceremony, through showing his community members and his extended community members how ceremony could transform their lives. And he helped transform my life through influencing me to take that example of transformation and honor. And now I look behind myself and I see the way I'm supported by people who want to transform their lives. And that's the reason why ceremony is important to me because it's an honorable thing to do. It's an honorable way to transform. And the communities that I represent, that the KI Network represents, and the, re the way we are so easily able to reach these communities is because we come from a language of hurt and harm and dishonor. And when an honorable person who used to be dishonorable returns and says, hey, here's, here's how, and, and you can still speak that language, um, is gonna have the most impact. And that's what I'm representing and I feel, and, and that's why I stand firm with the KI Network, with Decrim Nature, with C's Way, with Shane, uh, with people I haven't even met, the sister on here who's an attorney, the, the sister who's a, who's a doctor, uh, the, the young brother, who is who is you know up there fighting for his stuff and he in his 20s and I can just hear you know the honor flowing through him. Like that's the ceremony behind the ceremony. It's the results of ceremony that you see honor, where dishonor and trauma is being sold. Yeah, trauma is being sold everywhere, but there's no producers of honor. Those of us who hold ceremony and participate in ceremony, we represent honor. And so to me, that's what ceremonies represent is the honorable side of our nature, but it needs to be shown more. So that's why I need protection. The sovereigns need protection so we can continue to demonstrate honor so that change can happen organically from our communities who see us, you know what I'm saying, who have, who have seen us, 